Welcome to Let's Play Super Mario World Episode 3, Inside the Vanilla Dome. Here we go. If you saw parts 1 and 2, we're doing pretty good so far. Cleared it without much issue. Having fun. Riding Yoshis. Oh, let me show you guys something. Okay, you get that, and now you have wings. They're not really useful in this one particular spot, but hey. Oops. Whoa, hey, hey. Okay. So this part's kind of annoying. Actually, it's really easy with Yoshi. I don't know why I just made a big deal about it. Okay. I don't like the underground levels as much. Like, I, just scenery-wise. They're not as uh, interesting to me. Although I always like this mechanic. You jump on it and it starts falling and you just gotta run your butt to the end before, it, uh, before you hit the fire. And if you care about the dragon coins, there's one right there. That if you don't know it's coming, you're not going to get it, most likely, unless you have really good reactions. Yoshi can just eat anything, man. Whoa, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you... <laughs> Yoshi always making like... Ah, Yoshi's always making life difficult. Don't understand why you can't just, uh... Sit there and let us ride him, or wait for us. We missed the green switch, but I'm not going back for it. That's That would be annoying. Whoa. Oh, we went the wrong way there. Oh, we gotta go through the middle. Get in the middle. Get in there. And that's the first vanilla dome done. No issue. Pretty easy level. Pretty short. Pretty sweet. Riding Yoshi. Get out of here. Oh, that looks like underwater. Is it underwater? I can't remember what level 2 is. No, it's not underwater per se, but there are fish. I don't like any level with fish. Oh no, it is underwater. Yoshi. Yoshi has to do all the heavy lifting when he's with Mario. And actually, this is actually really, really sad. Because there's no way to get up here with Yoshi. <laughs> You have to, uh, abandon Yoshi right there. Oh, hey. And I actually just abandoned him in the water, so I assume he's gonna drown now, and that's really sad. I don't like that. Why'd you do that to me, Nintendo? That was, uh, not nice. That was my best friend, man. My best friend. Oh, the feather, though. I'd rather have a feather than a Yoshi. Feather is awesome. Fire's fine, too. I'm just gonna use the fire in case we get hit. And that way, the feather will come down. Or we could have two feathers. Oh, no, we can't. I would have had to switch for... Damn it. Oh, well. We could have had two feathers, but I messed it up. I messed it all up. Ah... Uh. See, that's why we can't have nice things, Mar- Oh, my goodness. I don't like him. Turns into three. Oh, well, we made it. That was- I don't want to say it was easy, because we lost all of our power-ups, but hey. They made us lose Yoshi. That, that wasn't on me. That was on the game. Hey, another bonus level. Yay. This time we're doing a lot better. Oh, no, we messed up. Now, see, once you lose the, uh... Once you lose your momentum, it's really hard to get it back. Oh, hey, we got that one, though. You don't necessarily have to match the center one. You'll just get more things if you match the center one, too, because you'll have more lines. I just like to consistently try to hit the same thing, which would almost work that time. We just hit two wrong. Not too bad. The ghost house. The vanilla ghost house. The vanilla Isis house. I don't think it's actually... Well, it might be. Who knows? This level's kind of hard, as far as this game goes. All the ghost houses are actually pretty difficult. Oh, whoa, whoa, I forgot. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of platformers where objects are solid, and where I would have, like, bumped into the side of that instead of uh, sliding straight through it. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. So, yeah, when I... Uh, I started to press left because I thought I was just going to bounce off of the platform in my head for some reason. 
when the reality is that, uh, that's not what was happening. Oh, man, wait. Okay. Forgot how I'm supposed to do this. No, not like that. Like this. There we go. Oh, wait. No. No. Wait. Did I do that wrong? Am I in the wrong place? No. No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way, for sure. But, um... Uh, oh, wait, no, that just lets you skip this part. I, I was thinking that there was a door up there, but all that going up there does is let you skip this part by just running to the end. And dropping down, which would have led me to that door. Sorry I got silent for a second, I had to think about what the hell was going on. Whoa! Oh my goodness, that was embarrassing. That's not how that's supposed to happen at all. Start this ghost house over again. Whoa. See, and that's what I mean. This game's easy, but there are a couple levels that are just like the bane of my existence, kind of. Okay, bounce over all the ghosts. You're not scary. You were scary when I was a kid, but you're not scary now. Whoa, hey. Okay, you're just a little bit scary. Oh my goodness, hey, hey. Thank you. I don't care. Get through there. Oh, I don't like this part at all. These green, uh, green orb things. Oh, we got a one up. That's something. Whoa! See, they just do everything they can to hit you. Even though they have no sentience. It shouldn't be, like, possible for them to be trying to hit you, but I swear they are. Okay, so then we take this here. And we're at the end. Thank goodness, I really don't like that ghost house. Out of all the ghost houses, that is one of my least favorite. Mario's happy, we're happy, we're out of there. Yeah, we're not gonna save yet. Okay. I always hated this guy, too. He will come after you. Jump! Oh, wait. We can get a little power up right here, but we have to be careful. Okay, first of all, get bigger. And now, second of all, do that. Ha! Just because I don't like these plants. They're evil. Oh, that was just a coin. I always get excited when the flying blocks come. They seem like they'd be something special, because they fly, but no. No, just a coin. Ride the skulls. Pretty cryptic, Mario. That's what I was saying. What if Mario was, uh... In my last video, I mean, I was saying... What if... Mm, excuse me, sorry. Hiccup there. Um, what if Mario wasn't a kid's game? He has some crazy powers, like he shoots fire, he, uh, he just does some pretty badass things. I could totally imagine him being a, uh, not suitable for, chil nah, for children character with his powers and the things he does. Stomps enemies into non-existence, rides on skulls, tamed a dinosaur to ride. I don't know, it just seems like he, uh... Has a lot going on. Okay, I don't like you. Get up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, that is what I'm talking about with the flying and not liking the flying. That is not fun when that happens. That's not what you're expecting. It looks like Mario's touching nothing. He was touching nothing for a very brief instant and floating. He is going to be so dizzy when I'm done with him. Okay, now jump over him. Okay, so this is pretty easy. 
See, with the cape in this game, it's almost like you want to go just fast enough to not fly. It's nice to get that little speed. It's nice to get that little, uh... Whoopsies. It's uh, nice to get a little speed going. It's nice to get the cape flailing and you getting a nice jump with some air and softly landing down. But at the same time... Man, flying is dangerous in this game and not fun. I do not I do not approve of the flying in this game. They ruined the best part of Mario Brothers 3. Vanilla Dome 4. I always like this level. It has a neat little background, but it doesn't really go with the rest of the uh, levels in this uh, set. I guess you'd call it a set, or this world, even though... It they're not really called world... Are they called worlds in this game? I don't know. But that's what it is. It's a world based on the other games. See, that's confusing. Can they be worlds in Super Mario World? Because it, it implies that this whole world is like Super Mario World. So are there worlds within Super Mario World? I don't know. Let your brain chew on that. Let me know what you think if you've made it to episode 3. And if you have, thank you for watching, and I hope you continue on through episode 8, and that doesn't happen again. You didn't see that. I'm gonna take out my Men in Black uh, device and uh, flash you guys' memories. Because you're not supposed to see when I fail like that. Not, not unless I tell you it's okay to see, and I didn't say it that time. Just kidding, I don't mind you guys seeing me fail. It's kind of funny. Like, there's so many uh, video game videos on YouTube, and I feel like people are afraid to have uh, negative, like, uh, they don't want to lose too many lives, they only want to post their cleanest run. And I don't mean any person in particular, obviously, I'm just saying, generally. And that's understandable, you want to put your best foot forward, but I like to keep the mistakes in there. One run, finish the game. If it's perfect, great. If it's not, oh well. Here's a th oh, this is the worst castle. Out of all the castles, this one's the worst. Okay. This this wizard guy, he is not your friend. He will never be your friend. Don't invite him to your birthday. He will just oh, oh my god, I don't like him. He's a bad man. Ah. And he's gonna cause problems for you, no matter what. Oh! Oh my goodness, come on! Oh my- get- get- okay, thank goodness. We made it through the door, we got the little, uh, stripey that powers us up. We got a one-up. Oh, boy. Okay, I don't like this part particularly either, because, uh... Sorry, I'm adjusting the mic a little bit. I don't know if you were able to hear that. Waiting to be submerged in lava is not a nice feeling. So you gotta do some careful platforming right here. Through the whole level, really. There's a lot of timing involved in this. Knock it back down. Oh! 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 That was not fun. At least we hit the checkpoint. Okay, so here we go again. Hopefully do that a little cleaner this time. A little less patience too, apparently. I have a bad tendency of that. Once I lose one life in a game, things start to like spiral downward because I lose patience and I want to get back to the part where I just lost that life at. Oh, I don't like these jumps, like, the walls are just small enough to be bothersome. Or, I mean, not the walls, the, uh, the gaps. Which I guess is the intent. Good job them, but, just saying. Okay, that always scares me, I can never remember if that one submerges all the way or not. Oh, we're almost there, though. Okay, that just comes down to there. These two skeleton guys up here will give you some issues. Just jump on them. Because they'll, uh, they'll get back up after a while. 
I think that's the end, maybe. Maybe? Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, this one I don't like very much. Okay, so there's three, and you gotta hit the right one. If you hit the wrong one, you don't get the hit. Like that, see? But also, there is fire coming at you, because why wouldn't there be... If he spawns up really close to you, it's easy, but if he doesn't... Oh, hey, that worked out for us. But yeah, if he doesn't, it can be an issue, but that time it wasn't, so good for us. We beat the third castle, and let's see what this game has to say about it, because I like the story. It says some funny things sometimes in little after cutscenes. Put that egg down, Mario, and hit that castle with a hammer. Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Koopa of castle number three. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? I have not, because I'm not really worried about them. We'll be alright. Anyway, that was world number three, the Vanilla Dome. Next episode, well here, let's save. Next episode, we are headed to... Cheese Bridge area. See you guys next time.